Welcome back to Savage Kitchen. We're in the office today, which means we are tasting things. I am super excited about this because today we are tasting chartreuse, both the green and the yellow. I um, have actually been planning this episode for quite a while, but I had a hard time finding uh, green chartreuse in my local liquor stores. It's been in high demand lately. Chartreuse, if you are unfamiliar, is a liqueur made in France by Carthusian monks. There is so much lore that surrounds this brand and so much mystery that surrounds the actual recipe for chartreuse. There are only ever three people at a time that know the recipe to make chartreuse. Two of them are monks in the Carthusian order and one is the, the father of the order. I could be screwing up the terminology for that. God forgive me. Um, but what's interesting is it's a closely guarded secret, but it's been made pretty much the same way since the mid 1700s. The history of chartreuse, and there is a ton of information available online if you're interested in reading about it. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put a link to a really, really great article uh, from the Washington Post about this. Um, but the history of this goes that in 1605, the initial recipe was developed and written down in a manuscript and then handed down to the monks since then in the mid 1700s, 1730, 40-ish. The uh, chartreuse, which up until that point had been medicinal, was uh, being produced as an elixir. It was given the name the Elixir of Life, and uh, then actually was diluted a bit and turned into the liqueur that we have with us now. So from 1605 to the mid-1700s, it took them that long, research and development-wise, to come up with this recipe. Pretty impressive. Uh, and then in the mid-1800s, yellow chartreuse was introduced. So to get into the differences between the green chartreuse and the yellow chartreuse uh, before tasting them, the green chartreuse has a higher uh, ABV, higher alcohol by volume. This sits at about 55%. That's real high. This is very, very alcohol heavy. The yellow chartreuse in comparison sits at about 40%. So it's going to be a little bit more mellow and not quite as much of a punch in the face, theoretically. Um, I've tried both of these before in cocktails. I've never had them though, just by themselves. And if you are a fan of Savage Kitchen, if you're with me and you watch my cocktail videos, you know that I really believe in tasting your ingredients first and smelling them and understanding what they taste like individually before you start to combine them with other ingredients, which is how we got here. That's how the whole tasting series started. So, so now that we've discussed initial differences between the two, I think one of the most interesting facts about these bottles are the similarities. And that is that they use the same 130 herbs in each recipe. Um, again, the recipe is a secret, only these monks know, but they do know that there are 130 different herbs and the difference between the yellow and the green is simply in the ratio of the herbs that are used in each. So I personally find that wildly fascinating how you can put the same ingredients in something and different treatment and different ratios will yield a completely different result. Also, fun fact, the color chartreuse was actually named after chartreuse. Um, this was introduced in 1838, and then the color was given the name chartreuse in the late 1800s, in 1884, as it turns out. Um, so super cool that we actually have a color named after a liqueur. Now, and the bottles are absolutely beautiful. We have a little backstory here. Chartreuse is made only by Carthusian monks of Le Grand Chartreuse near Grenoble, France. I might be butchering that pronunciation. I'm sorry. Chartreuse today is still made from 130 alpine herbs, according to an ancient 1605 formula, secret method, sold with green or yellow, uh, rare VEP, the only liqueur to have a color named after it, love it. Um, famous for flavor and fragrance, totally unexpected, remarkably beguiling, love it, uh, and unique in all the world. Chartreuse is most popular mixed with tonic or soda in a tall glass with ice, accented by a slice of lemon or lime. Well, for our purposes today, we are going to taste each of these neat in a little glass, and I'm really interested see, to see the difference uh, between both scent and flavor. Oh my God, that smells so good. Mm, okay, so the yellow chartreuse is extremely herbal smelling. It's a little bit floral. 
Actually, it might be a lot floral. It's sweet smelling, uh, very, very herbal. Let's smell the, the green before we get to tasting these. Um, I've probably had the green more frequently in cocktails. I've only, to my knowledge, had yellow chartreuse once in a cocktail. And that was a take on a bee's knees, so a gin, lemon, and honey cocktail with the yellow chartreuse. Hmm. Scent-wise, they're very similar. They're both extremely herbal. Hmm. This one's almost... It's slightly more maybe vegetal smelling, but just slightly. They're both very, very herbal. And they both smell sweet. This one almost has a little bit more of a mint smell to it, which I wasn't really expecting. Hmm. All right, I think let's taste the, um, we're gonna taste the yellow first. So now remember the yellow is the lower ABV. So this should probably be a little bit more mellower, a little bit easier going down. It's a good sound, isn't it? All right. And so then color wise, that is quite chartreuse <laughs> as it turns out. Um, it does look a little medicinal. Mm, it smells so good. All right. Oh my God, that is delicious. Why would you even put it in anything? It's so good. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. This right away, I think that you can, well, the initial sip is very herbal. It's sweet. It has definitely has a little bit of a burn to it. It's pretty high alcohol content. Um, you can taste fennel. You can taste anise, anise, anise. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. I always say anise. I think it's anise. Um, it's really, there's something flowery in it too, though. It reminds me a little bit about, of the it does not taste at all like St. Germain, but the florality of St. Germain, there's a hint of that in this. Is florality a word? I could be making things up. Oh my God. All right. That might be a new favorite thing. Um, I can also see now remembering the cocktail that I had with the yellow chartreuse, which was a uh, gin a little bit of honey, a little bit of lemon, and the uh, yellow chartreuse. I can see exactly how that layered into that cocktail now um, and how that's just a perfect vehicle for this. But I I just want this neat. <laughs> okay, I need to settle down and try the green one, but I'm in love with the yellow chartreuse. Okay, so for the green. And this is, so color-wise, very, very different if we're comparing the two. Um, mm, it just, it smells more like alcohol than the yellow. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that has way more bite. Quite obviously, it's much higher proof. Mm. But it's almost more it's hard to say if that bite I'm feeling is the alcohol bite. Uh, it's almost a little bit peppery and not peppery in like a, not in a, a chili pepper sort of way, not like the anchorias with the red chili, green chili. This is almost peppery in a peppercorn sort of way. Um, hmm. Also sweet, not as sweet as the yellow. This, uh, let's taste it out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, this is, had I not tried the yellow first, I don't know that I would have instantly identified that peppercorn flavor. Um, but that is the thing that to my palate at least stands out the most right now. Um, in addition to like a peppercorn flavor, there's a little bit of peppermint. It's a little bit 
minty. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't think of if I were constructing a cocktail and wanted a mint element, I would not go to this. In tasting it on its own, you can definitely sort through and find mint. You can find peppercorn. Fennel is definitely there too, but I, th I think that that flavor is actually more identifiable in the yellow version. Mm. It's just so good. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's a little more vegetal than the um, than the yellow. I feel like this, the yellow, I could sit and sip on its own. Um, the green, I would be less inclined to do that. You still could, absolutely. But I think I spoiled myself trying the, the yellow first. Of the two, like this, the yellow definitely stands alone as a uh, a digestif maybe a dessert um they're both very very good though but very different i would not say if you are trying a recipe that calls for one or the other i wouldn't substitute the two they are very very different if something calls for yellow chartreuse you need yellow chartreuse and vice versa um they're not it's incredible that even though they have the same 130 herbs they're very, very different. Mouthfeel is very similar. I would say the mouthfeel on the yellow, a slightly, slightly thicker fuller in the mouth, but it's almost imperceptible. It's really very slight. Um, these are good. I can also see how this would just be an excellent rinse in a glass um, because it is strong. Like it is, they use the word pungent uh, in, in their, uh, marketing and branding. And it's really accurate. It's very, uh, it's not pungent in like Anchorman, like mm, stings the nostrils, but, uh, it is, it is pungent. I would say of the two, the yellow is the one that is beguiling though. Whew. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I, I would say go get yourself a bottle of each, but they're pretty expensive. The green chartreuse, I live in North America in Arizona and the green chartreuse is averaging about $65 a bottle. Um, and the yellow chartreuse was slightly less expensive at uh, $59 a bottle. Um, however, these are, and that's for the 750 mil, the full size bottle, but this isn't something, this is special. This isn't something you're gonna pull out every day and drink. It's not something that you're gonna mix in large quantity, I think, in a cocktail, just because it is a pretty powerful flavor for both of them. Um, but I do think that if you love crafting cocktails and want to experiment, I think these are both beautiful additions to uh, to a bar setup. Um, there are a lot of cocktails out there. If you Google, the last word seems to be the most famous at the moment cocktail that uses uh, green chartreuse. Uh, just this morning, actually, Steve, the bartender, posted a beautiful looking cocktail called, I think it's called the Death Flip, that uh, uses yellow chartreuse and Jägermeister. That's super interesting. Talk about like doubling down on a black licorice flavor. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try these out. I've got some ideas in my head actually for a margarita uh, with this. I'm on a margarita kick lately. So thank you so much for joining me on this. If you have any suggestions for me for bottles that you'd like to see me try and taste and figure out how to work into a cocktail, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear it. And if you're enjoying this, Give me that thumbs up if you want to check out my other cocktails just hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on another savage kitchen cheers friends